from Sweet Sentiment here and I am so excited to be a part of this amazing expo experience. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what I do and um, then we're going to make a really fun project. So first of all, I teach online coloring classes. So I will teach you to color with your Copic markers and even your colored pencils. Um, by online videos. So you can color at your own pace, you can color, um, you can play, pause, stop, come back, <laughs> um, all of that fun stuff. And the videos are pre-recorded and you have lifetime access to them. So once you purchase the video, it's yours forever. Um, I do have lots of fun products to share with you guys today. I have Sweet Sentiment coloring paper that we're going to be using in our project. It comes in full full-size packets for $12. It's 20 sheets. By full size, I mean eight and a half by 11. And it comes in A2 packets, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And these are um, so fun little like travel packs for you. So this is considered like a card front size. Then I have craft colored paper. And this is generally for pencil coloring, but you can use it for marker coloring also. Um, with the sweet sentiment paper, you can use it for marker coloring pencil coloring, even water coloring. And as I'm going to show you today, it's incredible for ink blending. All of my papers are acid free, so you can use them in your scrapbook, for your cards. Um, if you do mixed media and use all different kinds of mediums, you can totally use this paper. It is incredible. I was so tired of having to have 14 different kinds of paper um, to make a project. So I kind of created a paper that you could do it all in one. Um, with my online coloring classes, every month you get a brand new class that teaches you brand new techniques. So you will get with your class a stamp set, which I have right here. This is the August stamp set. So you'll get a stamp set. You will also get um, a different type of embellishment or fun thing to use every single month. So some month it could be ribbons, some month it could be sequins, um, stencils, um, paper pads, all different kinds of stuff. I didn't want it to become redundant or boring, so I wanted to make sure that you guys got something super fun to play with each month. It's only $35 a month. There's never any fees for cancellation. There's never any fees for signing up, and there's no obligation. So if you decide to subscribe for one month, and it's just not for you, that's great. But I'm gonna tell you, once you subscribe, you're gonna be totally hooked. And um, so it'll be $35 a month. There's also a second type of subscription, which is called a CAT subscription. And CAT stands for Color All the Things. Um, with that, you get a background class as well. So for the August, the coloring class is this, and you will learn how to color this cute little girl and all of her little woodland friends. The cat class includes this background class. So you will learn how to color this woodland background with the trees and the leaves and the little hillside and all of that kind of stuff. So every month you learn different techniques that you can apply to any of the other stamps or coloring that you have. I try to make them really diverse so that you learn a little bit of everything and really, really enjoy yourself with these coloring classes. Um, I have lots of other products, as you can see in my store, um, lots of stencils and stamp sets from previous classes. You can purchase any of the previous classes as well. I also have partner companies that partner up with me and we do mini classes. So mini classes are $10 each and you get the little miniature stamp set or a digital image. So that's a good way to learn if you want to just kind of sample and see what it's like. Um, with that being said, our project today is going to be this cute little girl in the coffee cup. And we're gonna learn how to color her up really quick with Copic markers. We're also gonna learn how to stencil this amazing background using the stencil that comes with the August class. And with the August class, you also get, let me show you what's in the kit. You get the cool stamp set because I don't think you should have to go out and source your own stamp set. You should be able to have the stamp set that you're learning with right at the tip of your fingers. So you're going to get this cool stamp set. You're gonna get this really awesome stencil 
and you're gonna get a cottontail brush from the Rabbit Hole Designs. I love supporting small businesses and coming up with items that support other businesses in the craft industry just like me. So the Rabbit Hole Designs is one of those other small businesses that I totally love to support. And so we partnered up and we're able to get you guys these amazing stencil brushes to go with your kit this month. Also, um, as a show special, if you decide to subscribe to classes during this um, expo event, you will get a free pack of the A2 paper and you'll get to choose any mini class that you want. So um, super fun, great deal. Are you guys ready to get crafty? Let's get inky. Okay, so here we go with our project. I have taken the Sweet Sentiment stamp um, this, oops, sorry, this little girl right here. And this is our coffee plans set. And so it's just got a bunch of fun little things to do with coffee. You can use this for cards or scrapbooks or um, your planner, anything like that. But I've taken this little girl right here and I've stamped her right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna color her in really fast. And so here's an idea of different ways that you can color them. I've done a rainbow on this one just because it's fun and I love bright colors. So we're gonna color this in real fast. I'm gonna take some um, of my skin tones and this is just a little teeny tiny image. I've stamped her on the Sweet Sentiment coloring paper and with this um, Memento uh, Tuxedo Black. Couldn't think of the name of the ink. And then I'm just gonna use my Copic markers to shade her in real fast. And we're just gonna do a real quick color on her. I'm not gonna worry too much about um, light source and tons of shadow and any of that stuff because it's such a small image. And I wanna make something real quick for you guys. Um, so we're just gonna take some Copic markers here and color her in real fast. And I'm using E04 right now as my shadow color. I'm always taking my paper and rotating it so that my hand or my wrist is in a comfortable position. You will always color much, much better if your hand, oops, sorry, is in a comfortable position. And I'm just taking, I'm using very little brush strokes so that I don't have lines where the shadows are. I'm using these little brush strokes to blend out those shadows. And Copic markers actually, it's kind of a misnomer. They don't actually blend, they layer. So what you're seeing is that darker layer through the topper layer. The, the lighter layer, the layer on top. Words are hard for me today, apparently. And now I have E21. The artist drew this stamp to kind of look like me. So um, for those of you who don't know, I have an obsession with coffee. I drink a lot of coffee because why not? It's delicious. <laughs> e00. My group, um, Sweet Sentiment Coloring, is all about being uplifting and fun and helping one another, and we just have the best time. So please feel free to join my Facebook group. And thank you so much to the Expo for doing this. Are you guys having so much fun? I love it. I love it. I love it all of this fun stuff that the expo is coming up with for all of us to do. All right, so now I am going to color her hair. And I'm just gonna um, kind of arbitrarily choose some browns. I'm gonna go with my two series. So this is E29, and of course that's gonna fall over. And I'm just gonna use little tiny brush strokes. I'm gonna use the very, very tip of my marker and I'm gonna always go with the direction of the artist drawn lines. So whatever direction the artist has drawn for the hair to be growing, that's the direction I'm gonna go with these brush strokes. After E29, I'm gonna go with E27.
again, following the artist drawn lines, doing really light little brush strokes. Oops, I forgot the bottom part. Okay. And I'm gonna find E25. Again, just real light little brush strokes following those artist drawn lines on the way that the hair would grow. And you can do these brush strokes either towards your body or away from your body, whatever you're more comfortable with. I generally do them towards my body, but I can do them in either direction. So just whatever you're most comfortable with. And then this last marker is the E23. So it's all about creating depth and dimension. This is forcing your brain to think that it's looking at a three-dimensional object when it's only actually looking at a two-dimensional object. Um, now I'm going to color the copy. So I'm going to use E37. And I know a lot of images are very um, intimidating for people to color, especially new colorists. And so in my classes, what I do is I take those images and I really break them down piece by piece. And when you go piece by piece, it makes things not quite so intimidating to, um, to color because you're just going little bit by little bit. Oops, I keep knocking over these caps. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and so going little bit by little bit will help you to digest that whole big image. So that was E35. And now I'm going to go with E31. Because she has some creamer in her coffee. So it's going to be lighter in the middle. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now, what color shall we make this coffee cup? I really like reds, so let's go with red for the coffee cup. A lot of people find it really hard to color in red, and so I'm gonna show you um, just kind of a fun, easy, low-key way. Um, I am choosing my red markers right now, so I have E89. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in from the side and again use those soft brush strokes. This will help me to blend those colors together much, much easier if they don't all end in one spot. Um, there's not a lot of times in nature where things end perfectly in a line. And so if you have your coloring end in one perfect line, it's gonna draw the eye to that one line and it will look very foreign. And so you don't want to draw attention to one specific spot of your coloring. So anything that's like straight lines or angles or anything like that, you really don't want to finish in that perfectly straight line because it will draw your eye there and your brain will think something's wrong. So that's why all of these brush strokes kind of end in a different spot. I'm also going to add some shading on this mug underneath her arm and where it comes around that corner. Now I'm gonna go with our 39 and same thing. I'm just gonna do those nice little brush strokes. I'm gonna come halfway into where I've already colored and then extend that coloring out towards the highlight. I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to do the same thing. And now I'm going to color in this handle some. I don't normally color quite this fast, but we are on a time limit here and I want you guys to be able to get back to your cropping. So, 
I am coloring a little bit faster than I normally would. Um, in my classes, I obviously explain things in a lot more detail for you guys um, because I'm not on a time constraint mainly. <laughs> um, and I want you to learn the technique. The point of the classes is to learn the technique so that you can apply it to other images and um, keep coloring everything that your little heart desires. So I want you to learn um, different techniques and different fun ways to color and different ways to create texture and all of that fun stuff so that you can apply it to any image and not just the class image. When you do sign up, for Sweet Sentiment classes, you will get a kit. Um, every kit ha comes with the stamp set that you'll be using for that class so that you don't have to go out and store and source that stamp set yourself. So that's really nice. Then it also comes with embellishments, um, different fun things every month. Every month the kit is different. So some month you could be getting some ribbons or some sequins or things like that. Um, the next month you will be getting, you know, just completely different things because I don't want them to become redundant. Um, her shirt. I think that I'm going to just put her in kind of a gray shirt. So I'm going to pull a couple of my C markers. Um, the reason I'm choosing C markers is because they're a cool gray and next to those warm browns, I want to have a little bit of contrast. So I have C4. Um, anyway, so your kits are always different every month and that way it doesn't get redundant or boring. Um, and the coloring that I teach you, you can use for your scrapbook, you can use for um, cards, you can use for, you know, boxes and tags and all that different kind of stuff. Um, and so I try to make sure that the embellishments that you get in your kit are all very different so you can use them for a wide array of things. So even if you happen to be um, like a mixed media artist or something along those lines, it's kind of got something for everyone. I'm gonna pull out some teals to make her little coffee cup. I feel like she wants a teal coffee cup. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Nice little soft brush strokes. Um, so the classes are $35 a month. There's never any fee to cancel and there's no initiation fee to sign up. Um, the reason I do that is because I don't believe in those fees. I get very angry when I have to pay them myself, so I don't want you to have to pay them either. Um, those, you can cancel at any time. There's no obligation or anything. It just helps you know that you are paying a month in advance for your class. That way you're guaranteed a kit. So I'm going to show you now with this little girl what we're gonna do with some pieces of the kit from this month's class, um, meaning the August class, because if you sign up now, you would be signing up for the August class. So let me show you some things with that. Okay, so with the August class, um, the image is this adorable little native girl running through the forest. And it comes with all these amazing sentiments. So this is the stamp set you'll get. And I teach you how to color it just like this with your Copic markers. And if you choose, there's also a background class available. And in the background class, you'll learn how to color this awesome background, um, you know, with the little path and the grass, the hills, the trees and all that stuff. So in your kit, you will get this awesome stamp set. You'll get this stencil and you'll get one of these amazing cottontail brushes from the rabbit hole designs. So I'm gonna teach you how to use this stencil and the brushes along with some oxidings because I love stenciling and I think it's so much fun. So what I've done is I've, our little girl that we've colored, I've also stamped her on a piece of masking paper, which is just sticky paper. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the back off 
and I'm going to stick this to our paper over the top of our little girl that we colored. Okay, now just out of frame here, I have all of these awesome Distress Oxide inks in rainbow colors, and I have all of the amazing Ravelable Designs cottontail brushes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card, and I am going to take some of the amazing purple tape. If you guys have not used purple tape, this stuff is awesome. It's almost like paper, um, painter's tape. It's a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mask off the edges. I like to end up with a nice clean edge. So I'm just going to mask off the edges of my card. Um, this serves two purposes. It gives me a frame for my card. Um, and I did that crooked, so I'm going to readjust it while I'm talking to you. Um, it gives me a frame for my card when I'm done with my stenciling. And it also holds my card in place while I'm stenciling. So this is obviously just a card front. So if you decide to make this for your scrapbook as a panel or something like that, then um, by all means you know, change up the way you're doing this so that it fits with whatever project it is that you're making. And so just laying this purple tape on here. Um, purple tape is, I know I started to talk about it and then I probably, you know, saw a squirrel and went on some other direction. <laughs> That's part of my charm. Um, but purple tape is made just for crafters. It is kind of like a painter's tape, but it's a little bit less tacky than that. So it doesn't hurt your paper when you pull it up. Sweet sentiment paper is what I'm using. And it is so amazing um, with ink blending. So I have this Pixie Spray. Um, I know there's a lot of stores on here that sell it. So check out one of your um, stores that are participating in the expo and pick up some Pixie Spray. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray my stencil. It's really fast and I'm just off camera and I just sprayed a little bit of spray all over the back of my stencil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this stencil down where I want it to be. So just position it however you want it to be and then push it onto your paper so that you get a nice firm grasp. And again, this is the stencil that comes with the um, August kit for Sweet Sentiment. I'm going to start with purple. This is Wilted Violet Distress Oxide Inks. And no, I do not sell these. However, um, a lot of the other expo stores do sell them or vendors that are participating with the expo. But I just wanted to show you how to use the items that come with your kit and how amazing this Sweet Sentiment paper works with these oxide inks because they're so big right now. Everybody loves the oxide inks. So I'm just gently rubbing the ink onto the brush and then taking that brush and adding it to my project. I love stenciling. It makes such a cool impact. I can't get my words out. Such a cool and neat impact. Um, with whatever it is that you're making. I'm going to go back to my purple brush and I'm going to overlap these some. And that's how you make a nice soft transition, just like when you're coloring with your markers. Now I have Twisted Citron. And I'm sorry, I didn't say that last one was Peacock Feathers. So now I have Twisted Citron. And again, just lightly brushing over this Adding ink as I go. I love, love, love stenciling. It comes out so amazing. Again, I'm going to go back to that peacock feather. Okay. I'm going to add 
squeezed lemonade. And stenciling is really, really fast. Um, stencils are relatively inexpensive. I do offer other stencils in my shop. So just in case you're wondering or looking, I do have other really cool mandala stencils. And I'll show you those here in a moment. I now have spiced marmalade. I'm gonna add that orange right next to that yellow. And I love adding them kind of blotchy, especially with a really organic um, stencil like this. I, I know that some's lighter, some's darker, and I'm kind of doing that by design. Um, the more you work with a stencil, I'm going back to that lemonade, um, the more you work with a stencil and the more ink that you put on it, the smoother your blend will come out. My last color is Barn Door. To my orange and just kind of blend that some. Now there's one more step that I'm going to do with this and I'm going to take my Distress Oxide Sprayer and I'm just going to spritz a little water over this. Um, these are water reactive inks and so what I want to do is I don't want the stencil line to be absolutely perfect so I'm just going to spritz a little water over it to create movement and fun. I'm just going to take a tissue and blot that water off. And then the most satisfying part of all, this is the part that I absolutely love, is peeling back that stencil to reveal how awesome that comes out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel back this mask and reveal our awesome coloring. Check that out. Isn't that amazing? So much fun, you guys, and so fast and so quick using Sweet Sentiment products and also products from all of our friends that are at the expo and have these products in their booths, um, obviously on their websites and all of that kind of stuff. So Sweet Sentiment goes hand in hand with a lot of other vendors from the expo. And I just love the community and camaraderie we have um, at the expo with all of this really cool stuff. So what I was gonna show you, the other two stencils that I have is this is a water mandala and this is just called mandala stencil. So those are two other stencils that we have. The Sweet Sentiment paper that I have, I have A2 size, which is 25 sheets. So you can um, have them kind of pre-cut for your card fronts. And I also have full size. This is eight and a half by 11 and it comes in 20 sheets. So the eight and a half by 11 is $12 for 20 sheets, which is an amazing price point. Um, the A2 is I believe $6, I have to check on that again, six or $7. Um, and if you sign up for classes right now, you will get a free pack of this A2 paper so that you can have so much fun testing it out. I also have a craft colored paper that is used for um, pencil coloring, but you can also marker color on it. And this craft colored paper is 25 sheets for $12 and um, it's full size eight and a half by 11. So there's some fun products for you to try out. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope to see you in the Sweet Sentiment group. I hope to see you in Sweet Sentiment classes. And I am so grateful and thankful for the Expo for hosting these events for us and letting us get together and crop and have so much fun. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and listening and here's some info if you need more info on how to find me or get a hold of me. Again, my name is Jamie Clark and I am with Sweet Sentiment. And hopefully if we can get some expos in person real soon, if we ever get rid of all this COVID stuff, 
then um, I can meet you guys in person as I will be teaching classes at the expos. So um, I hope you guys have an awesome crafty time and I will see you guys again really, really soon. Thanks for tuning in. Toodles.